how to mix floor screed and really gonna talk about the ingredients a lot and the ingredients to make in floor screed and how I make screed is sand spent and what I'm holding here is sharp sand it actually looks like plaster sand it is bagged up as sharp sand sharper the better um, when you're talking about sand, sharp sand, plastering sand, building sand. Really, it's just the, the size of the grains that it's made from. Sharp sand should be at the, the bigger size of sand with bigger grits and pips in it. Um, this bucket's actually, I've got a wee handful of sharp sand in with building sand. Just wanted to show the difference between building sand and sharp sand. Um, floor screen's going to be... It's going to be a semi-dry mix of one cement to four sand. So building sand, just want to talk again about the sand, I don't keep going on, but a good mix is good ingredients. So you got to make sure you have the, the key ingredients for a strong, strong mix. So building sand is a very fine sand, and sharp sand is a very gritty sand. And when it binds together, the fact that the grits when you break it all down into the wee molecules, all the wee stones basically will fall into place and will lap tight. Um, so I'm going to show you how I make the screed up. I Normally if I'm mixing, I'll use damp sand and a mixer, like so. I'll add my damp sand first. I don't go crazy with water. You do not want a wet, wet mix. It will be nearly impossible. And I am not joking when I say it, nearly impossible to get a good floor with a wet mix. Um, this is not concrete, it is floor screed. It's a sand cement mix, so you want it semi-dry. Um, don't be thinking that because it's semi-dry it will be weak and you can't walk on it, but this will be a very, very strong mix, 4 to 1. Sand cement, floor screed, semi-dry. If you are concerned about that, you can give it a wee mist. See, I'm just putting very, very little amounts of water in. If you notice in the middle where it's starting to sort of come together, and boy, this is the way you want your screed to sort of be. You don't want too much ball, because that means you're over mixing it. So now that I'm happy that my sand is it's damp enough, I can go ahead and add my cement. So basically I have a full bucket of sand in there and a quarter bucket of cement just for the demo of this video. I'm going to be making concrete for a step here but I thought I could crack on and get this small demo uploaded here. Um, you can see it's mixing well there. This It's pretty much done this mix as is and just hold the mixer forward a wee bit and that, what that does is that just helps it mix at the back and make sure there's no bits bang at the back and it'll speed up the mix as well when you tilt the mixer forward. So you, if you sort of notice, it still looks very, very dry. But this is what you're looking for when you're mixing screed. Obviously, you never put your hand on the mixer unless it's turned off. The way I'm compressing it, when it's compact, it should bang together like this. And that means that it's ready. That actually is a ready mix. It's damp enough, you can see it's staying together, and when that's compressed down and compacted and worked in, it will be perfect. And for, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you here how you know you're starting to overmix your screed. Now, this screed's still okay, I added a wee bit more water. If you notice the balls starting to form, you don't want the balls. That does mean the screed's fine, but the balls, if you get too much. It would be an absolute nightmare to finish because they're very compact and they would be difficult if you have a lot of them be very difficult to compact and compress your floor in and get a nice tidy finish but so that's that's how you mix it guys four to one sand and cement semi dry and do the hand test here which i'm showing when it's compressed it holds holds a bit of shape and you're done you're ready for your screed quick recap Screed is a 4 to 1 mix of sand and cement. You're wanting sharp sand, and sharper the better. Um, 
and it consists of mainly three main main materials and that is sand, cement and water. Preferably if you have damp sand that means you don't really need to mess about with water too much as you, it is a semi dry mix and you want to keep it as such. Um, there is another ingredient you can add your water. You can add some SBR waterproofers and mortar mixes to enhance strength and waterproof abilities. You can also add some small chippings of stone, real fine, fine chippings, if you want to also add strength. And you can also add fibers if you want to add strength. But again, they're all optional. And the main ingredients is sand, cement, and water at a 4 to 1 ratio. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope this helped.